So I'm here in the um, greenhouse and I've um, had a delivery from Jay Parker. Um, now originally they said it was going to be 28 days for delivery and it actually arrived just after two weeks so I was pretty pleased. Now um, in this parcel I've got a um, James Greaves apple tree, a cherry stella, a pear conference and a plum victoria. I've also got um, 20 um, Maris pear potatoes, 20 Desiree potatoes and three Thornless Blackberry which is the Merton variety and onto strawberries I've got 12 of the Cambridge favourite and I've also got 12 of the Strawberry Florence. Now with Jay Parker they were running an offer we also got 8 Lavender Munster as a free gift and they also run another off if you spent so much you also got further gifts and I've been given three Lily Mount Everest white, three Lily Stargazer red and maroon, three Lily Mount Cooking Pink and three Lily Venezuela. Now in the second package I had five Raspberry Glen Clover, five Raspberry Mailing Jewel, five Raspberry Telamine and twelve Raspberry Honey O. So on first inspection, now TV wraps up pretty well. Quite pleased with the actual packaging. So here we have the um, blackberry, the, the Merton Thornless, and that's the second one of the blackberries and the third one as well now tell me guys um, I'm not quite ready for where these are got to go so what is the best advice regarding trees and the um, raspberries and the blackberries obviously the strawberries I can pot on into potting compost keep them in a greenhouse keep them watered up and plant them out when I'm ready but the trees can I get away with putting them into sort of a um, bucket water until they're ready to be put into the ground um, or what would you do if you can give me some advice guys please so that one there is the that's the James Greaves apple and this one here is the Victoria Plum Here we have the conference pair. The last of the trees. That's the cherry stella. Now all the buds are looking pretty good. So again, until I'm ready to put these in the ground, if I take off all the uh, packaging around the base, can I just leave them in, in like a, some water? to keep them watered or would you recommend planting them into a, a, a bigger tub I'm only talking about a week maybe 10 days before I'm ready to get them in the ground these here are the free lavender and what you can see inside there Onto the strawberries, these are 12 Florence variety. I'd like to say these I can pot straight up, and there's 12 uh, Cambridge favourites there. These are my seed potatoes, which I shall put out in the air boxes and start chitting those away. And these are the Marist Pier ones here, and all these here are the free. Lilies, which I took out, potted up also. And onto this one here, we got the last of the strawberries, and these are the honey ho, and then these are the raspberries. We've got five mailing jewel, 
and we've got five raspberry glen clover and the last one here the five raspberry talamine and they all do look good root stocks so this as i say again is uh, from jay parkers i'm really happy with all the packaging so now it's just time to get on and get everything ready and prepared for the orchard up at the plot So I'm going to be potting up the um, Cambridge variety of strawberry and I've undone them here and they look lovely and moist and I'm going to be planting them into my own compost mix that I've made up here which is uh, sieve multi-purpose compost and cocoa coir and I've also added some um, perlite to that just to help with the uh, water retention so I'm going to take my first pot here I'm going to drop one of the rootstock there into the centre of the pot and then just fill that up with my hands just lightly tap that down and then what I shall do is once I've done them all I'll give those all a good water so that's how I'm going to be potting up the uh, Cambridge Writers Strawberries. So that's the uh, first 12 of the Cambridge potted up and now I'm just going to give them some water. Now the um, tops I buy on Wish or eBay depending um, what the price is and how cheap they are. Bottles are just empty coke bottles but to fill up with normal tap water and I uh, leave them for about seven days um, just to dechlorinate it so you're just not using fresh tap water at the tap and I should just go with them a second time because what you find is with the um, cocoa koi it tends to sit on the top and doesn't soak very well until it's saturated so that's them done and then I um, pop in one of my home lab labels just made these using old blinds got the idea from Terry at Robotic Lockman and that's the um, Cambridge all planted up onto the rest so these are the uh, free lavender um, that was given by Jay Parker and all I'm going to do is I'm going to pot these up into these uh, bigger cells until they root up a bit more and bulk up and then they can all be planted out in its final resting place so there you go that's the eight free lavender and I do believe the variety is Munstead and that's the lavender now all planted so the same thing I've done there with the um, Florence strawberries that's the first six potted and watered so that's the uh, first two batches of strawberries the Cambridge and the Florence all potted up um, coming next is the honey hoe still to do the raspberries and in part two I'm going to be taking your advice on what I need to do with the um, trees and other bits and pieces that I'm not ready to plant on the plot so that will be coming into part two and at the same time I shall give you a tour of the greenhouse current temperature in here is 14 degrees 
and the maximum it's reached was 56.7 and the minimum zero. Coming soon, part two. Watch this first.